Hello guys, it's Katie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be ranking my top 5 100% cotton yarns. So I did do my top 10 100% acrylic yarns a couple videos back and you guys really liked that and I got a couple requests to do 100% cotton yarns next. So I was going to do my top 10 of these, but I'm actually a lot more picky when it comes to cotton yarns. And there is a lot less selection in majority of stores when it comes to cotton as well versus things like acrylic. So for this video, it is just going to be top five, but I do have a runner up for you guys. So just like normal, we're going to start at number five and get to number one. And I'm going to give y'all the breakdown, the details, all of that on these yarns and why I like them or things I don't like about them. And just like normal, all of these yarns will be linked in the description box below, but they are going to be linked in a random order so you guys cannot cheat and go to the description box to see what order I put them in. <laughs> Alright, before we get started, I do always like to just put a little disclaimer in here for these types of videos. This is all personal preference. That's why this video is titled My Top 5 100% Cotton Yarns. So if you disagree with any of this stuff, you can let me know respectfully in the comments. You don't got to get mad at me or anything. Or you don't got to get mad at anybody else's opinion in the comments. All of this is just based off of what my local stores have, how close my local stores are, my opinions on the colors, which I'm not going to like the same colors as everybody. So all of it is very much personal preference. This video is just for fun to share with you what cotton yarns I like. And also, I obviously have not tried every single yarn that is 100% acrylic. For example, there's like 24-7 cotton yarn by Lion Brand that I've really been wanting to try. Some different ones like that that are 100% cotton that I just haven't used yet. And with that being the case, obviously those are not on my list because I can't really rank them if I haven't tried them. So anyways, y'all, with that, let's just get straight in to my top five based off of what I've used and what I think of all of these. Okay, so when I was doing my ranking, I was looking through my stash and thinking about different cotton yarns that I have and that I like and all of that stuff. And one of the ones that came to mind was the Premier Just Cotton because of course it's one of the basic cottons I feel like and you can get it at Dollar Tree. So it is pretty easily accessible as well but this is kind of my runner up because it's not actually 100% cotton you guys and I literally just realized this okay it is only 85% cotton and 15% polyester so I am trying to stick to 100% cotton for this video so that's why this is just my runner up now I do have two other different skeins of premier cotton yarns that I will show you that are 100% cotton but they're not included in my list because they are limited time only yarns and for that reason I did not want to include them in this list. Anyways I just didn't want to really include anything that was limited time in this video but I will show you them really quickly. Alright so this is the Premier Hipster Cotton Yarn and the Premier Chameleon Yarn. I really do love Premier that's why I wanted to just mention these to you guys. I do really like them, but I didn't really want to include them on this list, like I said, because they do have this blue little tag here that says limited time only, meaning you could not get these all the time. So I didn't want to put them in my top ranking. Alrighty, with that, we are going to get to my actual top five. So starting out this list, we have the Yarn Bee sugar wheel cotton this is in the color lycia lagoon it is five ounces 152 grams 335 yards 306 meters suggest four millimeter knitting needles and four and a half millimeter crochet hooks and it is a weight light number three the price for this is five dollars and 99 cents which is a little bit steep but you have to keep in mind Hobby Lobby does have 30% off sales every other week and that's basically the only time I shop at Hobby Lobby. 
So the price for this would be $4.19 on their every other week sale of 30% off. So I honestly would consider the price for this for 19 since the sale is so often and I wouldn't buy it for any more than that really. Um, but a couple of reasons why I like this yarn is it is very soft, the texture. So that's a plus. That is the main thing Hobby Lobby has going is the texture and the color options. So also I do love the color options. This is the color La Cia Lagoon and I did actually use this for a tank top last summer and it was super gorgeous and it honestly didn't take as many skeins as I thought. That's why I still have this one and I have like two others as well because it did not take up as much yarn as I thought. So this is honestly just really beautiful and all of their color options are really beautiful so this is my number five the main reason it isn't higher up is because first off it is a weight three instead of a weight four weight four or up is what i normally gravitate towards for most of my projects just because my projects do work up a lot quicker whenever it is a thicker weight so you can tell this weight is kind of thin but the colors are just so beautiful in this and i do really love them i mean obviously i love them that's why i made a whole top out of this yarn and i do really love the way it works nice and smooth on your hook all that kind of stuff another reason why i don't love it as much though is it is hobby lobby which for me personally this ranking is very personal so for me personally hobby lobby is the furthest store away from me of like any yarn store it is about 45 minutes away so for accessibility is not as good either but other than that i do love it color options very soft so this is my number five my number four is the lily sugar and cream 100 percent cotton yarn so this yarn is 2.5 ounces 70.9 grams 120 yards 109 meters and it is a medium weight for worsted so this is more of the weight i like to go for a little bit thicker and they do have some pretty nice color options these are sold at michael's and joann's at least for me locally and yeah i do think their colors are really pretty like this blue color is called dazzle blue and this type of yarn is a little bit more rougher so i do think it's good for like dishcloths and things like that though but not as good for things like clothing maybe but still really like this yarn the only reason why it's not higher is kind of accessibility because again michael's and joann's are farther for me than things like walmart and stuff like that so accessibility and the rougher texture of this but it does have some pretty solid color options when you go in store and online this yarn does suggest five millimeter crochet hook or four and a half millimeter knitting needles and i think the size of the skein is really good especially for a cotton yarn so that is my number four all right y'all now we're on to number three which is very similar to the Lily Sugar and Cream. I feel like these two yarns are one of the ones that are the most compared out of cotton yarns. And this is the Peaches and Cream Original. So this yarn is again a medium weight four and does suggest also four and a half millimeter knitting needles, five millimeter crochet hooks, and it is two ounces, 56.7 grams, 95 yards 83 meters and it is also a medium weight four so these are very comparable so the only really downside that i don't love to this well not the only one but one of the main ones is this is quite a small skein i think this is the smallest skein we have for cotton yarns here in this video this is only two ounces versus this one is two and a half so not that much different but for something like a dishcloth this goes by really quickly you need at least like two of them even for something as small as a dishcloth so i do think 
that is a downside as well as it is almost the same texture as the lily sugar and cream i think the lily sugar and cream might even be a little tiny bit softer but that always depends on the batch of yarn you get as well even with like my regular red heart super savers some of them will be a lot softer than others and that kind of just depends on the dye lot and all that kind of stuff but it's not like too big of a difference that i'm even worried about it and this is higher on my list because you can get it at walmart first off this is a big thing for me i do like to pick this up at walmart a lot um as well as the color options from my experience at walmart they have a lot of color options for this now i don't believe they sell this at michael's or joann's i could be wrong on that but i personally haven't seen it if they do but yeah i do really like the color options i feel like they have a lot more variegated color options than something like lily sugar and cream does so for that reason i do like this a little bit more because i do lean towards the more variegated colors than the just solid colors Alrighty, that's number three let's move on to number two this is probably kind of predictable i've talked about this quite a lot on how i like this yarn this is the mainstays 100 percent cotton yarn it is 180 yards 165 meters 3.5 ounces 100 grams medium weight 4 and suggests 5 millimeter knitting needles and crochet hooks so this yarn is very soft compared to most cotton yarns we're talking about but yeah just very soft and obviously you can get it at walmart it's mainstays that's walmart's brand so i think that's great as well and my one like nitpicky thing with this is they do not have a lot of color options at all this is why this isn't my number one because they do not have a lot of color options maybe like four to five that i've seen in store there could be more online but i base a lot of my judgments on what they have in store so yeah but i do like the colors that they have in store so that's why this is my number two and also the price point is really good on this i realized i forgot to tell you guys the price point on all the other ones so let me switch back and do that so your price point for the lily sugar and cream is 2.99 at michael's and your price point for the peaches and cream is 197 at walmart so this is a little cheaper and again another reason why it's higher on my list all right now with that back to this the walmart cotton yarn the walmart cotton yarn is 2.98 and this is again a larger skein so it does make sense that it is about a dollar more and um it is a lot softer than something like this so higher on my list because at walmart and does have nice colors even though it's a small color selection um but it wouldn't surprise me if walmart starts to expand their color selection soon so that is all for my number two spot so now are y'all ready for number one you can honestly probably predict what my number one is all right this is the i love this cotton again from hobby lobby so my one nitpicky thing with this is the same thing i mentioned with the yarn bee is that it's from hobby lobby and hobby lobbies are much further but other than that i love the color selection there is so 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 many colors in i love this cotton yarn and it is 3.5 ounces 100 grams 180 yards 165 meters they suggest five millimeter knitting needles 5.5 millimeter crochet hooks and it is a medium weight four so the breakdown is almost exactly the same as the walmart one if y'all saw my hobby lobby versus walmart yarns video then you will know that but anyways 
the price for this is 379 which is quite a bit steep for this i think but again back to the 30 percent off sale they always have so i'm gonna do the math for y'all on that the 379 at 30 percent only has this being at two dollars and 65 cents and when that's the case that means it's cheaper than the walmart and you're getting all the color options and everything so i think i was gonna say i think i know this has to be my number one just the amount of color options that they have online and in store for this is incredible it's the most amount of color options i've ever seen for any cotton for solids and variegated so you know i think this is really good especially for things like clothing so yes that is my ranking for my top five 100 percent cotton yarns if you guys did enjoy this video please do give it a big thumbs up let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this ranking if there were other yarns you would include in your list or if you would have rearranged these yarns in your list let me know below again though all of this is personal preference so no need to get mad at anybody else in the comments or mad at me just because my opinion is different than yours but yes with that you guys if you do want to see more from me you can always check out more videos of mine my blog my etsy shop my podcast all of my social medias my vlog channel and you can now join this channel's membership for exclusive content and perks all of that is linked in the description box down below like always as well as all of these yarns i shared in this video will be linked below as well for you guys so with all of that thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you on this channel on mondays and fridays as well as sometimes saturdays random days when there's yarn sales and wednesdays on my vlog channel goodbye